Hello there, welcome you, Gaspar here from GP Airsoft, your fourth favorite GBBR channel. So today we have a very special video for you guys, which is teaching you how to reduce the FPS on an MP9 KWA. A lot of people have asked me this, and I decided to make a video just for it. I already have a video up on reducing FPS, but it was I made some bad judgments on what material to use because I used a BB and now I'm gonna use an O-ring and I'm gonna teach you how to open this gun and lower the FPS because this is the most asked gun for me and it is my favorite gun so without further ado let's get to the video okay first things first let's chrono this gun with 0.2 gram BBs to see the FPS before I do the procedure and then we'll do another chrono after I do the procedure to see if it worked So after that, now we're gonna disassemble this gun to get to the part that we need. First thing, you need to take a screw on the front off. After taking that screw off, you have the recover guide spring on the back. You need to push it and pull the dust cover up. From there, you can take off the barrel lock on the front. You need to press this tab right here and then pull the pin that locks the barrel. Take this tab on both sides of the gun, press it down and push the bolt forward. Now push it upwards and you take off the bolt and the barrel of your gun. You can put back the bolt catch because well you don't want to lose it. Now to work on the back of the bolt uh, we're gonna need to take off three pins on the back, a whole one on the top and be careful because you may lose the spring that it is here and I almost lost it but I was lucky. So when you take it off, press that spring so that it won't fly off. Now you have two more pins you need to take off and you can use the first pin to take both off now because they are hollow and very hard to take off. After that, we can pull back the whole assembly of the nozzle and here I glue the points of the spring in place with a little super glue, a little little bit, just to see if it would hold and we will not be crushed and it worked. So yes, if you want to see, I do that in another video, but basically it's this and I just put a little bit of super glue on the points of the spring so that it will stay in place. Okay, now we take it off carefully and then very carefully again, I need to take off the, the pin that holds the jet valve inside the nozzle. Taking it out, we get our jet or rocket valve, I don't know exactly the name, I've seen both. And here is where we're gonna do our procedure. What I'm gonna do here is basically glue a little o-ring on the back of this piece, just so it sits a little further and it will reduce the FPS. This is a 0.5 millimeters thick o-ring and I'm gluing it in place with epoxy resin. The thicker the ring, the lower your FPS is gonna be, so you can adjust from that. So after we glue everything in place, we're gonna reassemble the gun and let's do it quickly. It's basically everything backwards. So we're gonna put back the nozzle in the assembly, then we're gonna put the assembly on the bolt, then we're gonna put the three pins back. To put them, I usually put the top one first, just to align everything, then put the two on the bottom. Then before I push the top one all the way through, I put the spring back in place and you can see on the back of this piece right here that it is a little channel that you can put your spring in, so you cannot mess this up. With the spring in, I push the pin all the way through. Now we put the bolt back with the barrel and put everything back in the gun but before we can push it all the way down you have to push the disconnector forward so we go on the back and push it a little forward and then it clicks in place now we just need to put the barrel lock back in place and to do that we're gonna push back on the barrel because it always goes forward and we need to push it back a little bit now you, you put the tab back in and the tab has a little cut for the pin and this cut is supposed to be on the left side of the gun. You put it back, you take the pin, you see the cut, the pin has the cut to fit on the tab and you put it down with the 
cut side to the left of the gun, put it down and then you can pull the tab back forward. Just a little notice, if this pin goes in a little too hard, you're doing something wrong. Just pull it back and try again. With that back forward, you can put the spring back on and then you just need to put back the recoil spring and the guide. With all that back in place, you can just put the dust cover back front first and to put it on the back, you need to press that guide again and it locks in place. Now it's just a matter of screwing it back and seeing the result. So the result was just a little bit, like I said, I used a 0.5 millimeter thick O-ring. You can use a thicker one for less FPS or you can use a thinner one for a little less reduction, so higher FPS. And it's up to you what are you gonna put back there, so just so you know you have to put something to get that jet valve a little forward and it will, it will reduce your FPS. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I've been asked for this video a lot, so leave a like and subscribe now if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate that, thank you very much, hope I can catch you on the next one, see you around.